Hi everybody and welcome. I today am going to show you how to make an automatic sugarcane farm. So let's get started. Some of the most important things of course we need are the sugarcane. If I can spell, haha. <laughs> sugarcane. Going to need some glass. Going to need pistons. Just regular pistons. Observer. Redstone. Bucket of water. Uh, hoppers and chests. And then maybe a grass block if you decide to use grass block. Okay. So we go and find the location where we want to build this. I suppose it's right here. And we're going to go and place our chests. And just all the way across. And you can, the further you go, the bigger that you can make this farm. Hello. We'll just go that big. Okay. Now we're going to have some hoppers. Okay. We're going to go like that. Fill in this right here. Oops. Now this one, you want to, every two, place a block. Uh, remove a block. One, two, boom, one, two, boom, one, two, boom. That's because that's where the water's going to go. Okay, then the sugar cane. Boom, 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 boom. Sure, let's put something right there. Okay, now the top of the water you want to cover with the glass. Oops. Alright, so you got the glass right there. And you don't need a hopper wherever the glass is. So just okay, you want hoppers on the opposite side of the sugar cane. Great. And you know you put that there. Now, coming up on the other side, we're going to have just a wall right here. And then you want your pistons facing this way. Okay. And above that, the observers. Now go to the other side and place it so the red eye is facing away. Because the front side is the face that observes. Now, below that, make another wall. And then just do some redstone. Actually, I don't think you need redstone, right? Okay, you need redstone. Okay. Let's test it. Oh, definitely works. Okay. Yeah, so you have to have the redstone because when you put the redstone right there, it contacts with the piston and activates it. So you do need redstone behind it. So now we've got that. Now we can place in more glass. You don't have to use glass, but I like to be able to see what I'm doing. Then you need glass a glass wall right here so that the sugar cane doesn't accidentally pop out. We actually need another chest, don't we? Boom. Boom. Glass. Okay. It's kind of a cool looking design, isn't it? You can see I definitely did this spot wrong too. Chest goes right there and then a hopper. And put the glass around. Oh, kind of a cool little design you can see from the top. And then you just wait. And this thing will constantly earn sugarcane over and over and over again as time goes by. And let's get rid of the chest under the grass block. Because it doesn't pick up anything anyways. Here, let's make this more even. Yeah. 
That's better. Okay. Now, to test it, over time it'll grow. And as it reaches the top, the observer will see it. And it'll cut. It'll send the pistons, which are cut in the bottom half, and break them. Now, the problem with this, one little problem, is sometimes the sugar cane doesn't fall in the hopper. You know, that's just the price of making it automatic, but lots of them do. And you can see there's already some sugar cane in there. And you just kind of let it do that by itself over time. It'll slowly grow and just keep adding more and more sugar cane to your chest. Kind of fun. Nice, nice, nice automatic sugar cane farm. Well, that's how the build is, and you know, if you're making this yourself, you can come by and make it look more elegant, make it look nicer, that's up to you. But it really is nice having a sugar cane farm. It's very efficient because, you know, some things you don't want to be automatic, like mob farms, if you're wanting to, you know, have fun one, but also gain experience. But since you don't get sugar cane or experience from harvesting sugar cane anyways, there's really no reason at all not to have an automatic sugar cane farm. Everyone should have one. Get lots of sugar. And sugarcane, of course, is really good for trading with villagers, too. You can get paper or whatever, make lots of bookshelves. Yeah, it's very good. Anyways, that is the automatic sugarcane farm. Bye.